Hello friends. Design of flexible payment is based on two limiting criteria. One is of rutting, another is of fatigue. Now rutting is controlled by a strain, vertical compressive strain at top of subgrade and fatigue in the payment is controlled by tensile strain at the bottom of fitness layer. IIT PAIR software is used to calculate these strains at the bottom of bitmus layer as well as at top of subgrade layer. Now these computed strains are compared with allowable strain. Now today I shall tell you how to determine these allowable strains, allowable strains in rutting as well as in fatigue, means compressive strain as well as tensile strain. And I will take one example, let us say you have to design a four lane divided highway having equal traffic in two directions and the commercial vehicles or initial traffic in, in one direction is 2000 commercial vehicles per day. Four lane divided 50-50 direction is split and traffic in one direction is 2000 commercial vehicles per day. Design period let us say 20 years and growth rate is 7.5 percent. VDF generally we calculate by using Excel load survey data and for this example let us assume that VDF is 4.8. Now with these data you can calculate what is the MSA million standard Excel for which you will design your payment. So this Cumulative number of standard excels is given by this standard equation 365 into 1 plus r power n minus 1 upon r into directional distribution factor multiplied by VDF. A, A is 2000 commercial vehicles per day that is given in the question R is 0 0.075 we assume 7.5 percent traffic growth rate N is 20 years D is the direction distribution factor and for a four lane divided highway this D value is 0.75 and F is the VDF VDF we assume 4.8 so if you put all these values in this equation you get N is 113.8 million standard Excel, let us say 114 MSA. So design traffic for this highway is 114 million standard Excels. Using this traffic, now we should calculate what is permissible value of strains. Now let us first take the rating criteria and as per IRC 37, the rating equation is nr is 1.41 into 10 to the power minus 8 into 1 upon epsilon v power 4.5337 for 90 percent reliability. There is another equation for 80 percent reliability. You can use the equation corresponding to your design type of road. Now here nr is the number of repetitions design life. So if you substitute this value here 114 million 10 power 6 is equal to 1.41 in 10 power minus 8 into this value you can find out what is epsilon v. This is the permissible or permitted value of vertical compressive strain at top of subgrade. Now this is 3.099 into 10 to the power minus 4. That is what you get from this equation or you can say that it is 310 micron. This is the permissible strain at top of subgrade. This should be compared with actually computed sub, uh, uh, strain at the top of subgrade as per IIT PAVE software. Second criteria is fatigue. 
fatigue equation is given in IH 37 that is 0 0.5161 into a parameter c 10 to the power minus 4 into 1 upon epsilon t power 3.89 and 1 upon mr into 0.854. This is the equation given in IH 37 for fatigue criteria. Now, this is again design traffic 114 MSA. Now, C is a parameter that depends upon the volumetrics of the mix. Epsilon T is the strain, inside the strain at the bottom of bituminous layer. If this is the pavement section, you have subgrade here. These are two bituminous layer. Maybe BC plus DBM, DBM may be in one layer or in two layers. Then you have base, granular base, maybe WMM, granular base, and this is sub base. Now, these thicknesses you assume initially when you design a pavement. And for this assumed section of the pavement, you find out whether it is safe or not by comparing computed strain value with the calculated strain value. Now, this bituminous layer can be in either two layers or it can be in three layers. This is top layer is bituminous concrete. This is DBM one layer and that is DBM two layer. Now, this tensile strain is calculated at this bottom of the bituminous layer. Combined BC and DBM. What IRC suggests that if DBM is laid in two layers, then bottom layer must be a rich bitumen layer. And that should be designed corresponding to 3% air wires. If it is laid in a single layer, then in that case, this must be designed, DBM layer must be designed corresponding to 3.5% air wires. Now, the C parameter is 10 to the power m. C is 10 to the power m. And m is a parameter which depends upon volumetric. 4.84 into VBE upon VA plus VBE minus 0.69. That is the equation for calculating m and from m you calculate c. Now here this is the volume of effective binder in the mix and that is air wires. So air wires can be either 3% or can be 3.5%. If you are using DBM layer, DBM in two layers then the bottom layer is 3% 3, 3 air wires and you calculate corresponding volume of effective binder. Now for the for this example let us say that air wires are 3.0% and this VBE is 11.5%. Now with these values you calculate what is M, put M here so you get value of C. So in my case here M is 0.5 and C will be 3.16. For assumed values, just to illustrate this example, we have assumed certain value of VBE and VA, but it comes from the mix design. That this I told you, this is what you intend to find out from this equation. MR, MR depends upon the type of binder to be used, and a table is given in IS 37 to select the value of MR for VG40 grade of binder. MR can be taken as 3000. MPA. Now you know all values. This is 114 into 10 power 6. C is 3.16. MR is 3000. You calculate what is permissible strain. Permissible tensile strain at bottom of bitmus layer. So this value of epsilon T will be 155.5 micro.
This is the permissible value of tensile strain. Again, this will be compared with the computed value or computed value from IIT PAVE. And computed value should be less than the permissible value. The third case could be when you have cement treated base. It is of Gellner base. If you have, let us say here, cement treated base, then there is another consideration that the stress and strain here at the bottom of the CTB should be within permissible limit. A strain should be permissible limit. A stress is calculated to find out the fatigue life of the CTB layer. For fatigue life of CTB layer, I have another video. You can watch that how to do fatigue analysis of cementated base. But the strain here at the bottom of CTB layer that can be found out using fatigue performance equation and fatigue performance equation as given in IRC 37 is that N is RF into 113,000 upon heat power 0.804 plus 191 upon epsilon t and ratio power 12. That is the equation given in IRC 37. N again the design traffic 114 million standard excels that is called reliability factor. This is taken as 1 for expressway, for national highway, for state highway and for urban roads and 2 for other categories of roads. Epsilon t, this is the intention to find this epsilon t from this equation. E is the modulus of CTB layer. And this modulus you can take 5000 MPa. So now you know this 114 into 10 to the power 6. RF is 1. E is 5000 MPa, you can calculate what is permissible strain at bottom of CTB layer. And this is epsilon t will be for this example problem 66.27 micrometer. This is to be again compared with the computed strain at bottom of CTB layer using IIT PO software. So that is how we calculate permissible strains at top of subgrade, at bottom of bitmus layer and at bottom of CTP layer. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any question, you can write.